Ford checking out a 2007 Ford Mustang Celine. I guess, Rob, you want to tell me a little bit about the car? The outside, the little features are... Uh... Sure, the car was uh, based off a race car that was built and raced in the late 60s by Pernelli Jones. They went back to a 302 engine, which is unlike most new Mustangs. All of these saloons are all serial numbered on the bumpers. There's only 500 made. Got the uh, old-fashioned uh, hood pins, which most of you might be uh, used to from the late 60s, early 70s. It has the racing front fascia. The 302 on the side just stands for the cubic inch of the engine. And they tried to put the hockey stick type decal that represents the uh, late 60s, early 70s. They come with a seven spoke aluminum wheel. They didn't try to go crazy with it with a big 20 inch chrome, like normal, to uh, keep with the heritage look of it. What can oh, you expect yeah. from the saline on the interior? The inside is totally different. I mean, you wouldn't expect matching interior. I mean, you see the color. It's called grabber orange. They also did grabber orange for the inserts of the seats. Extremely comfortable. Probably one of the most comfortable salines made. See, it's got the, uh, the CD stereo inside. And the... Yeah, I mean, it's, it's built to resemble the race car, but still has all the amenities of a 2007 vehicle. It has a uh, Shaker 500 CD system, air conditioning, obviously. Every every one of these, they're autographed by Steve Saline, the owner of Saline, and Parnelli Jones, who the vehicle was replicated after. Along with the normal appearance of a Saline, that came with the nostalgic quarter, quarter window covers and also the flat black rear louvers, which we might all remember from 70, 71, and also the flat black deck lid and spoiler. Okay. As you can see, Ford used a 302 engine instead of the normal 4.6 liter, which equals about a 289. Comes with a functional shaker hood, again from the 70s producing about 400 horsepower, which is pretty quick for a car of this size. The tail end of the vehicle has a unique look for a saline. Most of these come out of ways, and then they're indented. They made this nice and flush with the chrome, the chrome bezel, which is different for this vehicle. And also the dual exhaust is squared off a little versus being round like a normal saline. Metro Ford and State Street and Schenectady test drive one of these vehicles. No matter what we do, price wise, at the end, we're going to get a thousand dollar gift card, an American Express card, shipping if you're from out of town, or whatever else you need. Obviously, you're going to need a little gas money with the vehicle, so that might work also.